Details Presentation on Face Mask Presented by Anesthesia with Babar In this presentation I will discuss one by one that what is face mask, its description, different parts of face mask, different types of face mask, techniques of uses, one hand and two hand techniques. Face Mask Introduction It is a device which allows administration of gases to the patients from breathing system without introducing any apparatus to the patient's mouth. Face Mask Description A face mask can be made up of black rubber, clear plastic, elastomeric material, or combination of these things. Parts of Face Mask There are three main parts, one body, 2 seal, 3 connector. Body of face mask. It constitute the main part of the mask. It is transparent used for observation of moisture, vomitus, and secretion etc. Seal of face mask. It comes with contact with face. It also have two parts, first one is, pad, or cushion. Which inflated with air. Second one is, flap flexible extension of the body. Connector of face mask. Connector. Also called orifice. It lies opposite to the seal. Thickened fitting of 22 mm internal diameter. It has ring with hooks helps in strapping the mask. Type of face mask. Anatomical face mask, Randall Baker Susek an endoscopic mask anatomical face mask it can be molded to conform to the anatomy of face it has slightly malleable rubber body a sharp notch for the nose and a curved chin section this is anatomical mask most commonly used randall baker susek mask it is designed for pediatrics patients less than 10 years it has triangular body and low dead space it is used in tracheotomy and acromegaly patients. This is Randall Baker Susek mask use in pediatrics. Endoscopic mask. It is designed to allow mask ventilation during endoscopy. It has port or diaphragm in the body to allow fibroscope insertion. This is endoscopic mask through which endoscope inserted during mask ventilation. Technique of uses. The face mask should form tight seal on the patient face which fitting comfortably in the user hand. The smallest mask is most desirable because it will cause least increase in dead space, easy to hold and less likely to result in pressure on eyes. There are two methods of uses, one hand method, and two hand method. First, one hand method. The thumb and index finger of right hand are placed on mask body on paw side of connector pushed downward to prevent leaks. The remaining three fingers are placed on the mandible such that middle finger is applied and little finger at angle of mandible to give jaw thrust anteriorly. One hand ventilation method requires one person. Second is, two hand method. This method requires two hands. It also requires second person for assisted and control ventilation. In this method thumbs are placed on either side of body of mask, index finger are placed under the angle of jaw, mandible is lifted and head is extended. If a leak is present, downward pressure on mask can be increased by anesthesiologist. Two hand ventilation method requires two persons. This is all about face mask. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my YouTube channel Anesthesia with Babar.